Hi, this is Dr. Pat. We're looking at system of two equations. Now, if you're a pirate, you're going to really like this one because X marks the spot. It's as easy as finding your treasure. Uh, basically, graphically, when we look at uh, system of equations, we're finding where two graphs intersect. It's about where they cross. So, if you're a pirate, arr, this is a fun section. If uh, another way to look at this I'll talk about is it's as easy as going out for coffee. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, so let's say you're going to meet up with a friend uh, at a coffee shop. Now, there's about three different things that could happen scenario-wise. The first one, you drive separately. You you know, you know basically travel to the, uh, the coffee shop and you meet up at the same place. Now, that's a good time because you're able to meet up, have your coffee, share your stories, that good stuff. A second case could be you drive separately, but somebody's mixed up somewhere, and so instead of going to one coffee shop, uh, they go to the one on 23rd instead of the one on 22nd, and oh my gosh, it's no fun because each person's just sitting there waiting for the other person to show up. They feel stood up. It's a bad situation. A third case that we could have is, hey, what happens if you drive together? Um, that's really nice because you meet up at the same place. Why? Because you were driving together. How else were you going to not meet up at the same place? So those are kind of the three case scenarios that I have for what could happen when you're going to meet up with a friend. Now, how does this have anything to do with math? You might be asking yourself, you know, is this guy crazy or what? Well, I'm crazy like a fox because here's our first graphical interpretation that we have. Case number one, two graphs that intersect, two distinct graphs. They're traveling in their own pathways in a sense, but they meet up and they meet up. Where do they meet up? Right there at that intersection. That's our solution right there at that intersection. So that's case number one, two distinct graphs graphs that cross each other. Graphical interpretation number two, two parallel lines go in their separate ways, distinct ways. They never meet up. There's no intersection. There is no solution. I'm sorry, our friends don't meet up. Our graphs don't cross. No solution. Case number three, you might be looking at this as like, dude, you're only showing one line. But not really. I'm showing two lines, two functions that just happen to be right on top of each other. That's like two friends traveling together to go to the coffee shop. Two lines. They're not distinct. They're really basically two descriptions of the same thing. So graphically, looks like the same line, but they're two lines on top of each other. That means everybody's going to work because it doesn't matter which coffee shop they end up at. They're together. They're traveling together. It's going to work out. There's going to be a solution. So basically, this one we call mathematically an infinite number of solution because any point on, those li on that line will work for the two equations. Okay, so that's just a nice brief introduction to a uh, system of equations in terms of what makes a solution and not a solution. Uh, I hope this helpful, a little out of the uh, ordinary, but hey, that's what I do. Have a good day and talk to you later.